Hello and welcome to another Roof Railways uh, layout update. That's the second one. Uh, not much has changed, but I think it deserves its own video. So, so let's take starting it. out, you probably noticed uh, one of the major things that's happened is the sideboards are painted. Finally. <laughs> I got around to doing that and got some paint coming in the post because you do not realise how much paint this actually uses because it's multiple layers and it's quite a big expanse. Um, but yeah, so, uh, sorry, it is raining outside, so again, we're in the roof, so you might you might hear a, a lot of rain, so sorry about that. Um, at the moment, looks like this. Really nice. This isn't going to be an exhibition layout. Um, I am part of CDMRS, the Corby Model Railway uh, Society, Corby and District Model Railway Society. So, unfortunately, 2020, the, a lot, well, all of our shows have been cancelled this year. So, uh, it's been, it's given us a big chance to just take a break get our layouts up to standards of showing or even make new ones um, and, and that's what we're doing um, so this one again sideboards are painted the fiddle yard has been painted for a little while but that's all black because it's a fiddle yard here sideboards have been painted all the way around the sides and I like that it, it looks very professional now also we have got the name the name of the layout is Meadow Holt and finally I have printed out a, a sign for it um, it, it is just a printout uh, I designed this on uh, Microsoft Word and then printed it out four centimeters tall and then just stuck it on with print stick nothing special no laminating it's just it's stuck on um, and it, it, it's not peeling away at the side it's been up here a week in the loft which isn't insulated and it's not fallen off due to condensation so I, I think that's pretty good well done print stick um, some of the other things that have happened on the layout since last time is the buffers here and here. They have been painted with sand in the top and the bar across the sides, uh, the front. Uh, I'm, I'm not adding insane weathering, such as different grains of sand and the, wa uh, the weathering of the wood. Yeah, it's just what it needs to be. Um, I only bought with a pack of two. But I do hope to get another two for the siding here that will be there. Siding here, siding there. Um, what else has happened? Um, this little gap here in the middle, I have filled in with cork. It was empty, but that's there now. The abandoned line, uh, there was nothing going on here, absolutely nothing. So that meant that just needed to add a bit of detail, so I got some of the old sleepers uh, from Offcuts of Flexi Track and just stuck them down. Uh, what else is there? Um, oh yeah. Um, just here. The, uh, the the line isn't completed yet. Uh, I need a left hand point. Uh, so same as this, but left hand. Um, just to go in there, and then piece of flexi track to join it up. Uh, the reason why there's a point there and not just going round, is because I want an extra siding just to jut off down here and join up with the end there. Just as probably a small DMU can pop in. Uh, the, the 
the station building, though, I want to get done. I'm, I'm waiting for the pieces to arrive. And the station will start just here. And it will carry on round here. Station building will go on this little area. Go round there uh, and then stop there. The rest of the station will then go back here. Round here. And down until it gets to here. whole purpose of this being is that there won't be a bridge. Because it will just really round the back. And here... Uh, for the actual side, how to make the platform, I will post a video on it when I make it. But how I'll make it is the Pico, uh, what are they called? The Pico side, uh, the sides of the things, uh, platform. I'll get loads of them, make the shape of it, and then fill it in with wood filler and then paint over it. It's the simplest way and most structural way of making it. And that's what I want. The station itself, uh, the layout is going to be set in the 50s. The 50s, because I just love the time period and that's when most of my trains are from. Um, so, the platform itself and the station building, all there. Uh... This here, I'm going to be using as a ghost siding. So that means that the platform will drip down the middle. That will be there. I can use it for things such as bringing a, a small, let's say, terrier. I bring a terrier with an auto coach. That is a very small train, a very, very small one. So it would, instead of using this one to uh, pa pick up passengers... It would go into here. This will come through into here and stop. Very small. Even probably two coaches and a very small train. Very small services would stop in here. But what a ghost platform is, is it's used but not that often. So whereas on this, there would be it will be nice and clean and uh, basalted here. It would be basalted, but there'd be little tufts of grass popping through and a bit of litter, probably. Just showing that it's it's used, but not that often. And also, because it'll be a ghost platform, if I do need to store wagons, let's say uh, my class 47 pops in with some wagons, and that signing's full, it can drop them off in here if it's not being used for passenger services. So it can be used for both. And it's not used that often. And that's what I want this to be. This one, though, is the main freight yard. So, this large bit is the main freight yard. This also is part of the freight yard here. But it's mostly going to be as a ghost platform. Um, the backboards, I'll have one here. And one going all the way across here. And that's because, you know, you need back scenes. Um, at just talking about detail. Along the front here, there'd be a very, very small hill kind of thing. And then it would come around here. And then just here, it starts sloping up. So this part here is all in one little valley, in a sense. And there's a tunnel portal here and then again there'll be a hill following this curvature all the way around and stopping there and again sloping up to the same height at the top of it i'm going to pop a metcalf kit of you know the farmer's cottage or something just to add a bit of scenic over here and probably a bit of stuff one thing that i am wanting to do is add an allotment so the little metcalf greenhouses and some allotment stuff because it just looks nice but leave your comments down in the description uh, yeah down in the comment section of where it should be should it be on this little part here of hill just outside the station so that side a 
if you want it to be here, comment side A. Here, on a little flat bit before the track on the hill, that's side B, if you want there, side B. Or here, just opposite the farmer's cottage on this flat bit, that's side C. So if you want it in here, side C, here, side B, and here, side A, comment below. It would be really good to hear that. Um, so, back here, future plans. I would, I want to get uh, some low relief buildings. Sorry, I thought I heard something then. Some low relief buildings to just go up against the backboard to show that it is a village, but not really a big village. Um, station building will go here, but I'm, again, I, I love Metcalf. Can't praise them enough. Metcalf, if you're out there and you want to send me some free stuff to review, please get in touch. Um... But yeah, the station building, I want to place here. And because it won't be set in stone, I can take it off, replace it, and so on, so on. Um, but that's it for scenery here. Scenery there. It's, it's mostly just going to be hills with some little details like the allotments and the farmer's cottage and probably some people walking. Some, probably someone up here taking a picture of the trains. Stuff like that. Um... But yeah, back here, there's going to be two little of the Metcalf kits of low relief buildings. And then mostly here, roads. Uh, just here, I plan to have a little bus stop uh, just outside the station uh, where it can... Because the road, here's the buildings. The road will come in through here, round here, back here. So there'll be a little section there and then it'll come round here where it then joins up with the freight yard. So there'll probably be a Weybridge shed here uh, that I've made from scale scenes. And then the rest of it here with probably some more bits of coal and dust and stuff. Probably some sacks of uh, sand. But yeah. So it's mostly just going to be roads here, probably a little like car park here and then a jutty for the, for the vans to get in. But here, I would like a bus stop. So a little... Uh, I know Metcalf do a bus stop uh, kit. And I'll probably get that, place it there. With then a bus coming in. Um, in actual fact, I have the... I've got two of these. These came in my recent Hatton's order. Two of these little buses. They are double-decker, so they probably wouldn't run in a small rural village. But for now... I just picked them up because I really liked them and they were at a good price. But you can imagine just there, in the corner, little bus stop and then could be there. It could be on its way in or its way out. It's how you depend on it. But it is a really, really nice bus and it was half price for £3. So I picked up two of them. Um... But yeah, so that is the layout itself. I would want, yeah, again, I'm going to add the station building in and the actual platform. At the moment, though, I am mostly thinking about building the kits for it. Um, and I'm annoyed at myself because my last Hatton's order was all trains and scene, uh, not scenery. I should have spent my money buying the scenery, so the actual parts for the platform, the actual stuff like the hills and the that, because then I'd have something to do. But I spent all my money buying, uh, buying these, buying the the new class forty seven, which I will post a review on. Uh, some of these wagons and these two coaches. So. Yeah, um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, so this, 
I'm going to get done. And again, Metcalf, if you are out there, set, you know, you can send me some stuff to review because, you know, I, I, I've always used Metcalf. They're, they're amazing. The kits are easy and, and yeah. But that is the end of the review. So, or the layout update. So, again, just stay in for this quick message. If you would like to support the channel, please head over to our Patreon site, Roof Railways. There'll be a link in the description. Um, and just for £1 a month, that, that's it. You can get, number one, the pride of supporting the channel. And number two, awesome rewards. Like, give a, you get exclusive entry to giveaways. So we might be giving away a train or a locomotive. And you will get an entry ticket to that. Just for £1, you could win something worth £100. Number two, you get exclusive voting power on certain things. Exclusive posts, such as things that I'm doing that wouldn't be posted on the channel. And so much more. Just head over there, t take a look at it. And if, you know, but £1, just £1 or you know, there's a £3 mark if you're feeling very generous and a £5 mark in case you feel, yeah, I really like this channel. But just £1, that's, that, that's all we ask. So thanks. It, again, if you want to see more things like this, £1 goes a long way and it can help us afford the, you know, like the track and the, the different scenery because you'll know it's a bit expensive. Um, also... Like, subscribe, and comment on what you on where would you where you want to see the allotments. Uh, and again, subscribe, share, and comment, and click the notification bell to be notified when a new video gets uploaded. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.